It's Daniel here at Engineerable. We just got these uh, Pearson work holding manual pallet changers in, and it's the mini pallet system. And the reason we're going to do this is because we're going to start making some parts and knife handles, and we need a quick and easy way to swap the pallets out of the machine so we're not doing it, we're not like setting up everything in the machine so we can just take the pallet, put it in the machine and then take the other one out, set it down, work on the parts while the machine is running. So we're going to open these up and see what's inside. We got, got two boxes here, one of them is probably just the uh, one pallet and the other one is the pallet changer and a pallet. They're pretty heavy boxes, more than I expected. We got a, an instruction sheet on top and starter package. Let's see what's in here. I'll set this aside for a moment. Here's the manual pallet changer. This phone, my phone box. More phone, and down here we have a pallet. Now I got the the wide pallet because what we're going to be machining is is just uh, soft materials. So I don't need, it's a pretty hefty pellet. I don't really need the rigidity. So here we go. This is a solid chunk of aluminum. The base has some stainless pads here and here and those are wear resistant and then it has these pins, these locating pins. <clears throat> the pallet, I was wondering if the pallet had, well I, I figured it didn't have stainless pads and it doesn't, it's just an aluminum pad surface here. So it's just going to be important to keep that pad surface clean, free of debris and I guess the pallet is kind of a consumable wear item over time so it's possible that this could well, it's probably not gonna, this is probably not going to wear out as long as you just keep it clean and don't nick it. It's, probably imp it's important to have, wherever we're going to set these pallets down, it's important that they probably make something with some little standoff, little feet that we can set the pallet on there so we're not, also not pinching our fingers when we're setting it down. So we can make some, we can make some specific pallet holders for putting pallets on and maybe it just grabs onto the corners here and then elevates this bottom off the surface to keep everything clean. This won't lock, I won't be able to put the pallet on right now because the balls are spring loaded outwards under, and you need air pressure to release the balls. So that will have to wait until we have the air pressure hooked up. In the starter package that comes with this, <coughs> I have this these components. That's it. And what we have here is we have the hold down, the hold down pieces, the screws. These look like a standard size to attach into your T slot. And inside the valve package, we have some tubing. <clears throat> the mechanical valve and a hold down bolt for it and then we have some uh, fittings air fittings looks like everything you need just hook it up to the compressor or hook it up in line with the lines you already have in your milling machine or router okay in the second box I have just a single pallet Uh, I also purchased some gasketing for air and a end mill for the gasket 
material. So this is one-eighth gasketing because we might do some vacuum fixtures with um, using the pallets. And well packaged to make sure that nothing gets damaged during shipping. Um, using the pallets. 